Hello, so I want to talk a little bit more about remote desktop tools and different software you can use to remote desktop. So in my previous video I talked about how to use an RDP wrapper to wrap a device in a piece of code that will allow you to remote desktop to it. Now that is a bit complex and let's say you can't be bothered to do that and it's too long-winded. You can download some third-party software online, so like TeamViewer. So what TeamViewer is, it's a piece of software that allows you to remote desktop to another PC, but it allows you to mirror actions on the host machine in the remote environment. So think of it like this. Let's say you've got a computer in another room. You team view to it, and so you can see what's going on, and you can control activities on it. And the other person, or the other PC, assuming there's a person attending that PC, can also see it. So you can have two people seeing the same thing at the same time and that way it's pretty useful for work and if you're trying to edit code and stuff like that so yeah all you would do is you'd go online uh, just type in team viewer and then this should come up download and you want to download the free version just install the in, just go for the normal installation steps so you want to make sure you have team viewer installed on your host machine and the remote machine and you want to make sure you have access to the password so for example, I've got this machine here that I want to connect to, I've got this IP address for it, and I've got this password that I can change again. I paste in the IP address, and when I connect, it prompts me to enter the password. I enter it, and this window pops up into my host machine, and then I can remote, remotely control that machine from this environment. Now, I'm not going to do it because I've got some code running on the other one, and I don't want things to fail, but that's one method you can do that. So another method is using something called Synergy. Now I found this software particularly useful. So what it actually is, uh, is let's say you have multiple machines and you want your mouse and keyboard to move to another screen. Now you don't want to have to remote desktop constantly and you want the mouse to just flow. So you want to, let's say, extend your screen. So let's say when I bring the mouse to the left, I want it to go off the screen and then go into the next window, into the next machine. So Synergy allows you to do that. It, it allows you to have a base machine here. So this is where my mouse and keyboard are currently located. I can then add other machines to my environment. So you can, let's say I want to put a laptop here. I want to put a computer here and I want to put another laptop here. So when I move my mouse from the, my main screen, which is what, I'm, what I am on now, to that screen, I just drag it to the left and then it will pop into the screen here which will be set up in my view. Think of it sort of like this is a host machine and then these are your sub servers that you're connected to. So that way you could copy and paste stuff from your main machine here and then put that into your your remote machines that way. It's quite a useful tool. It's hard to show you what I mean in terms of just this because I would have to pan out and show you all the screens I've got set up. But it's pretty useful. And so one kind of caveat with this is that you would have to you would have to go online, type in Synergy SourceForge or whatever because Synergy itself, if you just click on Synergy, is a a paid software. So if you see here, I mean, it only allows you to buy Synergy, but Synergy actually has a GitHub repo and its code is open source. Now they do show you, or they do have a, a way of compiling the code where if you click on the guide, you can compile the code on your own machine. But looking at this stuff seems really complex and I, I gave it a go and I gave up. It took too long and started to crash. So what you can do is something like, just do that and then type in SourceForge and then people have pre-compiled the code for you so some nice people online have compiled the code so you can just download the executable and then run it on your machine and bear in mind you gotta have this on your host machine and your remote machine as well for this to work um, again this is compiled open source code so download it at your discretion you I would advise having a good security up and running on your machine because these are open source executables so you don't really have a good idea of what's being run or what's hidden in them 
although I have downloaded this version myself and I've been running it for at least a year now and I haven't seen any issues form. So I would recommend it but I would also recommend you have some good stable security on your machine um, when running these files just to catch any viruses or anything or any issues you might see occur. But yeah, um, I, would, I would suggest checking out Synergy. It's quite a useful piece of code. It's quite helpful if you're programming and you want documentation on one screen and you're programming another or you're running some complex code that takes a lot of resources on one machine and you're maybe designing a CAD model on the other because those are quite resources heavy. So having them divided in two different machines, it's much nicer. So yeah, uh, if you have any more issues or questions you have about these software, let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, in any case, I'll catch you guys later and bye-bye.